Joining me is Michael Kroger, former Victorian Liberal President, and John Ferguson, Associate Editor of the Australian Newspaper and a former state politics reporter. John, let's just start with you. Um, how, why do you think this man who destroyed the Liberals, won three elections, won the last one very convincingly, and now, just 10 months later, is off. Why do you think that is? I think it's quite simple. He's tired. I've, I've thought for some weeks now that he was going. You could see it in his movements. You could see he was turning up late for events. He, he wasn't turning up. Reminded me a little bit of the last year of Paul Keating, where people just get tired. And I think genuinely he's tired. I don't see any imminent... Uh, fact or event that's gone bang, I've got to go. I think he's just got tired. I wonder whether he's got tired, Michael, because the chickens are coming home to roost. Well, look, I don't think there's any doubt about that, uh, Andrew. Um, he's been saved a little bit by the COVID inquiry, but who knows whether he'll be called. The problem in Victoria is the debt. I mean, I mean, you know, when Kennett and Stockdale left office, state, bet was, state debt in 1999 was $3 billion. Uh, in, in 10 years' time, it's going to be $305 billion. This bloke has bankrupted Victoria. I mean, he's been a very successful politician, a very successful Premier. He bought three elections by spending $150 billion more than Napthine and Guy spent. Uh, you give me that amount of money, I'll win an election. $50 billion on this, you know, train line to nowhere in 2018. Um, the Liberals forever focused on fiscal responsibility. I mean, how much skin did Kennett and Stockdale lose trying to get debt down from $33 billion when Jeff came into office to $3 billion at the end, all the, all the hard work they had to do. The great skill of this bloke, apart from his communication skill, is the fact that he was the first political leader in Australia to understand that the electorate was insensitive to government debt. We always talked about, you know, getting debt low because that's what we do in our own lives, our own households, keep debt low, get, get, have surpluses, fiscal responsibility... Andrews was the first to realise that because of the years of economic sunshine, young people in particular weren't scared by debt. Interest rates were low, historically. He ran up debt from, from you know, $20 billion when Dennis Napthine left office to, um, you know, what it's going to be uh, in 10 years' time. is said $300 billion. Uh, it's gone from 20 to, 100, to, to $239 billion in gross terms in 2027. This bloke realised, hey, people don't care about debt. They don't care about debt. I'll spend like a drunken sailor and I won't lose a single vote. I'm promising a train line from here to nowhere for $50 billion and it won in the 18 election in big terms. He bought that election with, you know, unprincipled, unparalleled spending and now he's going to leave poor old Jacinda Allen and the Victorian taxpayer with debts which are at record levels, Andrew. Yeah, but, uh, John, you were up close to a lot of this time. Um, you heard me uh, criticising the Premier. You heard... Uh, Michael doing it, uh, the, the facts are there, and yet the public keep voting him in. What are we missing in his appeal to the Victorian public? Well, it, it ties into with Michael's commentary on debt. So, so basically, uh, Daniel Andrews has worked out younger people. The, the Kennet people are dying off in their hundreds, have died in their hundreds of thousands. There's a new demographic that's pushed through. He's worked out younger people don't think they're going to be able to buy a house. They're not like, like us who've slaved to pay off a mortgage, continuing to uh, pay my mortgage. He's worked that out. The other thing he's worked out is the Greens. He has campaigned to become a de facto Green to push them out in the inner city. So he's, as we say, he's a very, very clever politician heavily data-driven. He's looking at de demographics. That's what he's looking at, and he's nailed them. And at the same time, there's been deep dysfunction in the Victorian Liberal Party, so he's been able to go bang. This is the thing. You can be pretty bad and you'll still win if the opposition's worse. Isn't this an indictment of the Victorian Liberals that this Premier, with that record, leaves as a hero? Well, I don't think he does leave as a hero, Andrew. I, I dispute that completely. In his own mind, he's well, in his own it. mind. I mean, but you know, we're all we're all we all suffer from a bit of self delusion. I mean, his legacy is a shocking one in terms of economic legacy. But this is the whole and, point. And How well, you've got to remember this: <clears throat> governments lose elections. You know, you, you say, "Oh, the opposition's so good." Well, I dispute that. But I thought Matthew Guy would have been an excellent premier, by the way. But but it's governments that lose so, elections. No, see, this is what I don't get, the great, Michael. The I mean. He's terrible, you say, and I'm, I'm agreeing with you. He was a terrible leader, and you're saying the, the opposition would have been great, and yet he won. He won because he brilliant at two things. 
He never left anyone in any doubt about he was, you know, his confidence, his self-confidence. People is... will vote for a strong leader, right? They don't want to vote for a leader who, who can see everyone's point of view. In a crisis, they want a strong leader. This guy was never in doubt, never apologised. He was always right. And people think, well, he seems to know what he's doing. We'll follow him. So his greatest strength was the fact that he was never in doubt and he was an incredibly strong leader. Um, and that's what's, that's what's got him through. The second thing was, as I said, this guy had a blank check. He spent like no premier or political leader has ever in this country. And people thought, wow, this guy, it's Nirvana. He's, he, he's he got the secret to the money tree. He's got a money tree as long as your arm and he's kept spending. And now you can see what that did. Okay, 